Hey guys, Round Clown here from Loco Productions UK, bringing you another episode of Fallout New Vegas. So here, in the last episode, we got shot in the head. We got revived by the somehow very talented Dog Mitchell here, and we chose our special skills. And now, Dog Mitchell is asking us questions about a dog. Ah, uh, first thing that comes to mind with a dog. Cat. House. Uh, Burglarize. Night. Silencer. Band. Bandit. Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese. Light. Never had Swiss cheese. I'll go to Switzerland and get some Swiss cheese. Light. Dark. Mother. Cookie jar. Mm, cookie. Okay. Now, I got a few statements. I want you to tell me how much they sound like something you'd say. Something I realized I didn't First even one, mention in the last... Conflict just ain't um, in my In the nature. last episode, that this game is set in a post-apocalyptic environment. It's... There was a massive nuclear war, America... I think this is in America. Yeah, because Fallout New Vegas is about Vegas. Mojave. Mojave Desert. Yeah. England. Don't need to care about America. So, yeah. Uh, it's set in a post-apocalyptic wasteland, and so there's lots of bandits and cobbled together weapons, that kind of thing. Uh, I can't remember what he said. I ain't given to relying on others for support. Uh, no opinion. I'm always fixing to be... Strongly agree. Yeah, popular. I'm slow to... Strongly disagree. I like... I charge in to deal with my problems head on. Yeah, strongly agree. We're a Almost melee character. What do you say you have a look at clown. this? Tell me what you see. What do I see? Hmm... I see. I don't see anything. It doesn't look like anything. Uh... It doesn't really matter. Okay. How about this one? Yeah, too embarrassed. No, I didn't even Last look. Last one. Looks like two bears high-fiving. You have sort of the bear's face there, and you see its eye, ear, hand, foot. It, two bears high fiving. But. a bearded man. Well, that's all. Okay. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so maybe you'd better just have. Okay, so here we get to choose our three skills. You get to tag three skills. So these are all of our skills that we can upgrade each time we level up. This is what I talked about. So we, what you can do is you can tag three at the beginning of the game to get them like boosted right at the beginning of the game. So we're going to want to go for melee weapons because we're going to be a melee character. Um, uh, what else do we want to go for? What else is good? Because I've pl I've played this game so much. I think one of my characters that I played on Xbox and then used um, Hex Editor like, and a thing I found on forums to bring it over to PC has like 500 hours. It's crazy. I just love this game so much. Which I said I wanted to do blind LPs but I think I just wanted to LP this game because I just love it so much. And I will be bringing out hopefully episodes daily. I'll try my hardest to bring out episodes daily. Uh, but you know, things can get in the way, school and that. So we're going to tag melee weapons because I'm a melee character. Medicine's probably a good thing to tag as well because uh, if you get over here, uh, points you replen points of health you'll replenish using a stim pack. Stim packs are like the health thing. So the the, the higher your medicine, the more health you get from a stim pack. So we want to do that and maybe hmm, sneak. We can sneak around and sneak attack people. When you sneak attack people, you do extra damage, which is cool. We're done. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Ooh, medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find. I do quite a lot. I like how this game looks. Shot in the head. Just they got the post-apocalyptic like right, like so right. See now here, you wouldn't have many of these to choose these traits. So you get to choose two traits, up to two, or you can't, or you could choose none. It doesn't really matter. But because of the more perks mod, there's actually quite a few more. So a really funny one, Wild Wasteland. You just get loads of like hints to other games and that. 
there's like um, there's like a Star Wars reference, a there's an Indiana Jones reference, so that's a good thing to choose just because it's funny. And some of these do other things as well. Now uh, I don't know if I even be bothered to go through all of these. That's it. I don't like that one. See, I think this was added by the game. But, like other um, Bethesda games, the add-ons increase the level cap. I don't know what the level cap is. I don't remember. But with the, even with the add-ons, I don't remember what it is. I have all the add-ons. But this, with this, if you choose this, you'll stay... Le once you get to level 30, that's it. I think... It might even be. I think the level cap might be 50, so you're missing out on levels there, and then you won't be able to choose extra perks either. So that's pretty, pretty crap. But you'll never become addicted to chems, they, and they last twice as long. But that's really not a good thing. I, I hardly ever use chems. They're like things that give you like not permanent boosts, but like boosts just for a time. Now I'm only going to choose what waste I need because I can't be bothered to go through all of these. All right, I guess that about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. All right, here we go, we actually get proper control of our character. And we're naked, kind of. You can't really be fully naked. Um, yay! Let's go to the exit with Doc Mitchell. Come on. Go faster, please. So yeah, you can go third or third per- uh, third or first person. Depending on what you want. Here, these are yours. I hope you don't mind, but I gave them. They call it oh, a pip crap, boy. I've been skipping. I, I just grew skipped up through in this. Vaults and completely forgot. The war. The we all got one. You know, I'm doing a little bit. used to be now, but you might want he was such just a thing after what you've been through. He's giving us our stuff back that he found. I know when what it's like having in. something taken it. from you. And he's given us the pip boy. And put boy this on too, so the locals don't pick on you for lacking modesty. Never was much my style anyway. And he's given us a pip boy. No, uh, a vault suit. Vault 21 jumpsuit. Thanks for patching me up. You should talk to Sunny Smiles before you leave town. She can help you learn to fend for yourself in the desert. She'll likely be at the saloon. Okay then. I reckon some of the other folks at the saloon might be able to help you out too. And the metal fella, Victor, who pulled you out of your grave. Anyway, you ever get hurt out there, you come right back. I'll fix you up. But try not to get killed anymore. I'll try. Right, so hardcore mode. Here we go. We can turn this on or off. Fallout New Vegas allows you to play in hardcore mode that greatly increases the challenge of the game. In this mode, stim packs heal over time and cannot mend broken limbs. Rad away removes radiation over time. Ammunition has weight. Sleep does not heal. And dehydration is a constant concern. This mode is only recommended for advanced players. May turn the hardcore mode on or off at any time in the gameplay menu. But if you activate hardcore mode now and maintain it through the end of the main storyline, you'll receive a special reward. Would you like to activate hardcore mode? Well... Mode is only recommended for advanced players, and as I said, my main character has over 500 hours. Now if that's not advanced, I don't know what is. And that was a hardcore character, then I completed the game on hardcore, got the achievement on Xbox. But, you know, I don't play Xbox anymore, I don't even have my Xbox anymore. PC, yes. So, I think that's pretty advanced, so I'm gonna stay yes. It's very hard with the hardcore mode on. Uh, yay, look at that. More configure it. Mod configuration menu has been installed. So here we go. If you press tab, you can bring up your pit boy, which has uh, well a radiation meter here. Uh, can't really do any of this, but pit boy model 3000. And this is just the thing of the Fallout series, which is just cool. It's like a men it's a menu where you can check all your stuff and change items and that. So on the status screen here, we can have our status, which shows our limbs, head. Arm, arm, torso, leg, and leg. We're a level one. Uh, so that's our condition. That's how much rads we have. Our rad resistance. And so when you get to 500, you get minor rad poisoning. 1,000. Uh, 750, I think, is major rad poisoning. And they give you, like... Well, they decrease your stats. And then 1,000, you die. Uh, effects of what you're wearing and that. Volt jumps... Vo so we're wearing a Volt jumpsuit that gives us plus two speech and plus two on our melee weapons. And our water, food, and sleep levels, they're added in hardcore mode. So you have to eat, uh, no, 
Bleh. Drink, eat, and sleep, or your character dies. And you get like experience, uh, the same as like radiation. You like things decrease. Your oh, I'm losing my tongue here. Sorry. So here we go. So these are our special skills. Just telling us what what they are. Uh, our skills, they're the ones we can put up for levels. Our perks, we have World Wasteland because we haven't leveled up yet. And General, which, well... So this is General stuff, but we haven't done anything yet, so that's like stats, like how many people you've killed and that. Uh, and this is, well, no, this is like that kind of thing. Corpse is eaten. Ooh. And we're a neutral because you get karma as well. So if you do good things, you get positive karma. If you do bad things, you get negative karma. And people think of you differently, and different communities like you. So if we run into a group of bandits and we have really low karma, they'll like us because we're evil, just like them. They'll still shoot us, but some some won't. So oh, thank you, game. I know this, and I will tell people this. So here is the item screen. These are all items. So we have weapons. Moment of pistol, binoculars, machete. These are all stuff we don't. Not all of you will start with this. These, are, this is just stuff that you get because of the pre-order packs, where it said at the beginning, tribal pack, tribal pack, caravan pack, and that. You get items. They were like they were pre-order bonuses, depending on where you pre-ordered from. But then they released a DLC that allowed you to get all of them. So here's all that stuff. So we have here. If you see down, down just under the character holding the gun, I can't scroll over to it. Well, by the little the three bullets. Underneath that, see it says damage. That's how much damage it does per shot and DPS damage per second. Under that, you have condition. So that's the condition. The little, the two notches on the right are when it's at like perfect condition. And anything above that just keeps it maintained. So guns will like jam and do less damage the lower condition they are. Then to the right of that, they have your ammo. So 13, 13 bullets currently, and then nine spare. Uh, how much it weighs is above that. WG, and then to the right of that value, so that's how many caps you get for selling it. Caps is the currency, like bottle caps. Then above it, above the value, is the strength, so that's how high your strength needs to be to use the gun, so 2, but we have 10, so that's okay. Binoculars, they don't do anything. Broad machete. Well, we're a, we're a uh, character of melee, so might be using that quite a bit. Apparel. I don't know how that's pronounced. Apparel or apparel. That's are stuff we can wear. So we were given the drum suit, but because of the packs we're given these things. We want the DT is damage something. I don't know. The higher it is, the more damage uh, it protects you from. <laughs> Sorry. So this this is the highest, DT twelve. I think it no, damage threshold. That's what it is. And I think I know I I remember how it works. That like so if you have a gun, if if someone shoots you with a gun that does under twelve damage you won't take any damage, the the armour will absorb all the damage. Anything over that, like if there's a gun that does 24 damage, it will take 12 damage away, so you'll only take 12 damage, because the armour is absorbing 12 of that damage. But its effect, because it's metal and that, it, uh, minus one agility. But we have quite high agility, so minus one won't really affect us, so we're going to put that on. And then all this other stuff. We could probably just sell because it's not as good. Then our aid. So stim packs, like I said, HP plus 7 because we don't have very high medical. And then it says 6S in brackets. That's uh, like, so it will give us 7 health over 6 seconds. Super stim pack, they give us more HP plus 30 in 3 seconds. Weapon repair kits, that if you have a weapon out, like uh, equipped, and then you use that weapon repair kit, it will repair that current weapon. That's weapon mods expanded uninstall menu, you don't want to click that. Doctor's bag. They restore your limbs that we saw here. So if a limb gets uh, crippled, where the bar goes down, because you get shot there too much, you'll get, um, it'll put that back up. Uh, bleak venom. Bleak venom. HP minus 15, but you can use that on stuff to like poison the items, like uh, throwing spears, which I think we have. Yes. Yes, we do. Throwing spear cannot be modified. Oh yeah, some weapons can't be modified. I just press X to mod. It says up the top. 
but say weather to minimum pistol. See, here's the weapon mod menu. So we've got the mod uh, here, and that count is how much we have of that. Oh, our time is up. Just quickly go through this. So these are the mods that you can get for this the weapon, extended mags, laser sight, and pis pistol silencer. So, but we don't have any of those, so we can't do that yet. So, and then quickly, misc bobby pins. You use them to pick lock vault 13 canteen. That's just a pre-order bonus. It'll uh, like every now and then you'll just take a sip from it. It'll come up in the top left, and your H2O will go up a little. So that's useful. And then ammo. This is just the different ammos we have, but because we're using hardcore mode, see, they weigh. They have a weight. So we're gonna have to be very careful with that. And then finally, data. Map of your map of the, your current area. Map of the whole world, but we're not outside yet. Quests, misc. They're like notes and stuff. I have a lot of those because of all the mods, and they usually come in notes to give you, tell you what they do. And the radio. Nothing. They might be playing something. Whatever. So. Whoa. Just swap weapon. I know what that is. I'll tell you next episode. Yay! Next episode, we will be heading outside to Good Springs. See you then.